Good afternoon, and welcome to the September 10th Community Update. My name is Zoe Popu, and I serve as a public information officer in the Emergency Operations Center. This community update is available in Spanish on Buncombe County Health and Human Services page at BCHHS. All of our community updates can be found in the Buncombe County YouTube channel on Facebook at BCGOV, at Buncombe GOV. Today's update is provided by Stacy Saunders, Buncombe County Public Health Director. Good afternoon. We appreciate you joining us today at the community briefing. We'll start out with a review of our local numbers. As of today, there have been 2,703 lab-confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Buncombe County residents. We as a community have experienced 72 COVID-related deaths. Our community has administered 62,711 COVID-19 tests. We continue to see about 4,000 tests administered throughout our county each week. We want to thank our dedicated staff, volunteers, and other community partners who are supporting testing efforts across the county. Testing efforts help us not only identify those with active infection, but also helps us better understand the level of spread of virus in our community. Percent positivity is the percent of tests administered that come back with a positive result. Recent percent positivity published on the North Carolina COVID dashboard shows 6.3% of COVID-19 tests performed are coming back positive in North Carolina as a whole. This percentage for the state has been trending down in the last few weeks. Our, our current percent positivity in Buncombe County is 3%. This has been steadily decreasing over the last few weeks. We also can continue to see an overall decrease in new cases per day on average. Currently, we are seeing just under 20 new cases per day. Today's dashboard shows 16 new cases per day on average. This is a drop from a high of 40 new cases per day on average back in July. Our indicators continue to be promising and show a distinct commitment Buncombe County has made to fighting the spread of COVID-19. It is important to note that given that we just concluded a major holiday where traditionally families and friends have celebrated with gatherings or travel, we may see an uptick in new cases during the next few weeks, just as we did after Memorial Day and July 4th. So that makes this a really good time to remind everyone that if you are having symptoms consistent with COVID-19 or think you may have been exposed, please get tested. Symptoms might include fever or chills, cough or sore throat, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle and body aches, headache, a new loss of taste or smell, congestion or runny nose, and GI issues like nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. Quickly identifying active infections help us slow the spread and protect our loved ones and neighbors. If you or someone you know is interested in testing, there are several options in our community. Please remember to check with your health care provider. If you do not have a health care provider or yours is not pro providing testing, there are several community options. Primary care providers, community health centers, urgent cares, hospital systems, and several pharmacies are offering testing. Check out Find My Testing Site website to find a location near you. You can also schedule an appointment at one of our county COVID-19 community testing sites. Visit Buncombe County Self-Checker at buncombeready.org to complete the self-checker to see if you meet criteria for testing at one of the community testing sites. You can also complete the self-checker over the phone by calling 
419-0095 from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. If you meet criteria, you will then complete the registration and afterwards receive a call from the Ready Team with your appointment location, date, and time. Just a reminder that at the community testing sites, cost is not a barrier and there is no out-of-pocket cost for testing. If you have insurance, it will be billed to cover the cost of the test. We also have Spanish medical interpreters at our community testing locations. More information about COVID-19 testing in Buncombe County can be found at buncombeready.org. This is also a good time to remind everyone that flu season is upon us. This will be a unique flu season in that it will be occurring at the same time that we still have COVID-19 circulating in our community. Two serious respiratory illnesses like flu and COVID-19 can wreak havoc on our community, especially our most vulnerable populations and could potentially stress our healthcare systems. Please remember to get your flu vaccine this year please ask your healthcare provider or your pharmacy about flu vaccine availability. This is one additional way you can protect yourself and others from respiratory illness this fall and winter. And don't forget to keep practicing the three W's and limiting your interactions. These steps are our best defense right now against spreading the virus that causes COVID-19. Our community's commitment to these easy steps has and will continue to help us slow the spread of COVID-19. Our metrics continue to be trending in the right direction. This is a testament to your commitment to protect yourself and others, but it requires our continued commitment to the three W's. We need you to keep it up, get behind the mask, wash your hands often, and stay at least six feet apart. Do it for yourself, do it for your loved ones, and do it for your neighbors. Thank you for your time and attention today. Take care and stay healthy. This concludes today's briefing. We thank you for tuning in to today's community update. We will provide the next update on Thursday, September 17th at 3 p.m. And until then, be well and stay safe.